All right, we're watching Hallie's breaststroke here uh, from her front view. Now, I want you to be a little careful. You can kind of see that your hands are really high above that water. Your elbows are luckily below the water. And when you start lifting your hands completely out of the water, there's a couple things that happen. Number one is your wrist's chance of getting your elbows up. If your elbows break the surface, then all of a sudden the breaststroke becomes illegal. So you've got to, let's just work on keeping your thumbs and maybe even your pointer finger just hitting the surface of the water. Keep the rest of your hands, the rest of your fingers underneath the water. Don't be so apt to jump up quite so high on that breaststroke. Head position itself looks good. It looks like you're not moving your head at all. I really like that a lot. Be a little bit closer, we can kind of see. With those hands, it's a good pull. It's a very good pull. It's good early breath. But you can see for sure both hands are out of water. Now, like I say, luckily your elbows are low enough, but not by much, okay? And you do want to be careful about that. So I think if you keep your bottom part of your hands in the water, you're going to be a lot better off. Plus the other thing, to be honest, by lifting your hands out of the water, you're actually working harder on your legs, and you don't want to make your legs work harder. You actually want your legs to drive you forward, keep your hands in the water so that's more of a motor, not a propulsion to get up out of the water better. Good, good job of finishing the kick. Good job of starting that next stroke. Let's see what that looks like underwater as well. Uh, a little high on that wall. I think you jumped that wall because you kind of uh, did an extra stroke maybe you didn't need to do. Be careful about that. You don't want to be quite so close. Now, I want this eyes looking right at this hand. I like how you brought that arm underwater. But you want to make sure you're watching that hand come off that wall. There you start to turn it back in. You can kind of see how straight your arm is. Bend that elbow. Let it slide right to that ear, right to the side of your head a little bit quicker. Okay, not quite so wide and quite so far. As you push off the wall, it's a good dolphin kick, but you just barely finish your dolphin kick there, and you're already halfway through that pull. All right? Let your streamline last for about three seconds, then a dolphin kick, and wait a second, then the pull. Don't be quite so eager to get into the uh, first stroke of the breaststroke. Let your underwater carry you a little bit further if you can. Now, the other thing I want, and we'll see this underwater too, let's look at how wide those hands are. You want those hands on the front of your thighs, and I know these are the back, but no, on the opposite side there, front of your thighs, you want those hands closer together. By keeping them on the front of your thighs, your shoulders are more hunched, which then keeps you in a little bit better of a streamlined position. And then you kind of see that your head breaks the surface really, really quick. So you've yet to finish your kick, right? Your kick is still out here and here. You're about ready to start your pull, but your head's already above the water. So let's make sure we're a little bit deeper, finishing that kick with the head underwater before we come up. Okay, so we'll see what your breakout looks like underwater as well. Um, but from what I see here on this one, we definitely want to wait a little bit longer. All right, Hallie? Good job.